Hey, this is Christian again from the High Level Content Army. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use conditional logic in forms. So in the past, we only had in surveys the option to use conditional logic. So whenever you fill out one question with a specific contact field of the options, then you would go to the certain slide or you could qualify, disqualify, etc. Now, with the forms itself, we have very advanced uh, conditional logic. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. But before, let me do an example with a form. So I have a form that is basic, full name, email and phone, and I'm going to insert two more custom fields. Okay, one of the custom fields is going to be the lead scoring, because we can put a number from one to whatever we want. And then we also have, I'm going to pull this question, are you a homeowner? I'm going to make both questions mandatory and then I'm going to start doing the conditional logic. So we have three options right now, redirect to URL, display custom message and disqualify lead. There is a fourth option that is in the works, but we don't have it yet. So if we want to redirect to a URL, let's say that we only, only want to redirect to a URL for people that have filled out the following. If they are a homeowner, yes. And we can have another condition that their lead score is greater than, let's say that the lead score is greater than seven. So if those two conditions are met, we can put a book call. We can put a book call open URL. And by the way, in this condition, we can have another layer. So we can have, if your homeowner is equal to yes and lead score is greater to seven, or, and then have another set, like another set of, um, sorry, another condition. So let's say that full name, or let's say phone number starts with two to four. Okay, so let's say that we have these three conditions. If these three conditions are met, then this URL would open. Right now, I'm gonna remove the phone. I just was just showing an example. And then I'm gonna keep reverting it to and. So if your homeowner is equal to yes, lead score is greater than seven, then the person books a call. Now, I wanna use a disqualify the lead. So let's do the following. So if homeowner is equal to no and the lead scoring is less than six, then we're gonna show, we can either show a custom message or open URL. Let's show a custom message and then let's tell the lead, hey, thanks for your time, but you don't qualify. So that's the third condition. And then finally, we can use the just display custom message. So the display custom message works. That means we would just display a custom message. So let's say that the lead score is less than four or is less than three. Then we're not gonna invite them to do anything. We're just gonna say, thanks for your time, have a nice day. So we have these three conditions here, okay? So let's start filling out the form and let's show an example of how these conditions would play out. I'm gonna show a preview of the form. So I'm gonna fill this out. Then I will be invited to book a call. Now let's show another example. So if I click on, are you a homeowner? No. And my lead score, I put myself as a lead score with, let's say a five. If I submit this, wait a second, I'm refreshing. Oh, it will tell me, thanks for your time, but you don't qualify. 
right? So you can see here how the conditional logic that we've set works in action. And this is very, very useful if you are either running ads or you have a lot of leads at scale in volume and then you need to qualify or disqualify leads based on what they submit. I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you for more.